Welcome back, everyone. Got a surprise for you. Stay tuned. Ah, look what we got. Little cabochon. Adorable little puppy. But we're back to this 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. I have a citronella candle burning because we have those little no CM gnats. Something horrible right now. So, what we're we gonna do? I'm gonna go around and break all these free quick. I'll be right back. So, I got the right front up in the air. I'm struggling today. I'm on the struggle bus. I'm fighting a migraine. Dude over there is mowing the lawn. It kind of sucks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling this wheel off. I'll show you what we got. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So, these are just trash rotors. Um, pads are getting down there too, so we're just gonna replace all of this. Um, we're actually gonna end up selling this car, so it makes sense just to, you know, make it nice. So, we're gonna do front and rear brakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break these loose. So I'm not sure what size that is down there. Well, whatever it is, very little 19. And then I think these are probably gonna be uh, 13 mil. So we'll go ahead and grab some tools, go ahead and pull these two 13s off. And then these are probably a 21. So I'm gonna get all those off, I'll be right back. So here it is, uh, that's off. Caliber's hanging out there. Those two rear bolts. They were a 21, and remember, whenever you do brakes, always grease these. There is, always grease these guys. There is uh, actual slide grease out there. Um, however, I don't use that stuff. I never have, well, I guess I can't say that. I used to, but I've had a lot of these slides seize up using the caliper slide grease, so... I use Lucas Red. It works great. And I've never had one of these seize up since then. So that's what I use. Use what you want. It's up to you. Um, I do use one of the old pads. And I put it like that. And then I press that piston back in. Um, these ones are not, they don't spin as you push them. So you're good there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these greased. Get this pushed the way back. The rest of the way back in there i'm pretty sure it's pretty close but and then i'm going to go ahead and get this off a lot of times these things seize on there um it corrodes right here so just spray some pb blaster you know around here around the hub and then around the studs then you might have to tank it a little bit with a hammer so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done and i'll be back okay so welcome back so here we have the rotor off for those of you that are educated and know this rotor is for the driver's side, not the passenger, like what it's on right now. And I'll show you why. So these ribs, the slots, they should point to the back of the car. Well, they're pointed to the front. So I just wanted to point that out. So I'm gonna put the right one on and I'll show you what that looks like. And so here you go. These, the slots, pointed towards the back of the vehicle. That's the way it's supposed to be. Typically, they are labeled, but these ones are not. Um, but that's okay, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this together. So the next thing we're gonna do is we'll put the caliper bracket back on. Remember, grease these slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. That's on there, those are greased. They move nice and freely. Um, I do not have the torque specs for these yet. Um, I'm sure that it's a couple Ugga Duggas, but I will make sure and find those and I'll put them in the uh, comment, or not in the comment, but in the description. That way you guys are doing it right. Most of the time your brake pads or shoes, well, brake, shoe, brake shoes you have to buy a hardware kit for, but sometimes when you buy good brake pads, they'll come with hard, new hardware. Um, I have not opened a mine yet. We actually got a Detroit axle kit off, offline. Um, I know it's a minivan drilled and slotted, super overkill, but why the hell not? So I'm going to go ahead and open up my front brake pads, and I'll be right back. 
so looky there. We have ceramic pads and a new set of hardware. And those are easy. They literally just pop out of there. All it is is a little guide for the brake pad to ride in. You can get rid of those, put the new ones in, they just push right in with your finger. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down, put those in there, and I'll be right back. And so, here we go. All put together. Um, you notice I didn't put grease right here. Um, a lot of times you can. Well, I mean, you still can with these, but... Um, so I didn't because these have these anti-squeak plates. So you shouldn't need to. And I kind of want to test these out to see if they're going to squeak or not. So I didn't put grease on there. Should I need to? Then I will. But there's actually some anti-squeak paste you could do on there also. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, button this side up. And then I will tackle that passenger side. Um, and for those of you that are wondering, there's four little scabs on my nose. It's uh, from a cat. Yeah, when we introduced the cats to the new dog, they were just thrilled. So they thought they'd give me a high five to my face. So that's what happens. But anyway, um, I'm going to finish this, put this wheel back on and uh, do that other side. But for today, that's it. We'll do the rear brakes in another time and I'll uh, walk you through that as well. But for now, from, uh, from this lovely humid Iowa weather in October now it is, like, subscribe, comment. Deuces, everybody.